Yo, what's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? Good to see you guys again. Glad I hopped on. I did make another video the other day, but it didn't really come out that good. So I'm in a good mood right now. So I figured I'd hop on here and say what's up to everybody. And uh, really want to focus in on suffering. Uh, focus in on the fact that when you're putting put yourself in uncomfortable situations, that's the best thing for you. Um, that's what I really, really think because as I chase comfort, as I chase comfort more, as comfortable things come with the money, I get uncomfortable, man. I get depressed. I get lazy. All of these things I don't want because I'm chasing comfort. Yeah, I've been guilty of it recently, very recently, up, up until the point where I have my own apartment now and the, the amount of comfort I feel from that is fucking ridiculous. Like, it's just like, I don't want to feel comfortable yet. I want to chase these comf comfortable things via, whether it be through an outside source, my girlfriend, my family, my friends, or the TV, whatever society is trying to tell me that I'm trying to get in. I know what the right thing is to do, and you know what the right thing is to do, too. Chase the things that are gonna give you the most growth that are gonna make you the best you um that being said i do have my friend kenny coming his name's kenny too he's coming on tuesday me and him we met in california a couple years back um and right from the get-go me and him were like brothers so me and him are going in on this business gonna be business owners together uh gonna be splitting most of the profits, splitting most of the losses, and just is what it is. Like this business that I'm running, it definitely requires, you know, it, if not a part business owner, then definitely a good fucking manager that I take care of. Um, but for me, like I'm all about business and business ownership and it being in the family. And you know, Kenny's Kenny's a, a brother of mine, so it's like, why the fuck not? You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense not to. Because, you know, like, for me, like, I want to remove myself away from the payroll and all this and the numbers and all this. Yeah, I mean, it's fun scoring a job and making X amount of money. But then when my job comes down to crunching numbers all the time, I, I'm miserable, man. Like, I don't give a fuck how much money I'm making. If I'm not doing what I love, which that's helping others putting myself in uncomfortable situations and getting out of it to the other side a better man then like it's just not for me you know what I mean it's just it is what it is everybody has their strengths like I ain't meant to be no CPA I ain't meant to be no accountant um so you just gotta know your role and stick to it man you gotta know your role stick to it don't be afraid to put yourself in uncomfortable situations because I'm telling you, out of these uncomfortable situations, when we keep ourselves uncomfortable, we keep ourselves motivated, uh, that's how I feel about uncomfortable situations. It keeps me motivated, it keeps me all right. As long as I don't indulge in it, you know, and get comfortable in the uncomfortable, un uncomfortableness, then I, I come out on top all the time, 10 times out of 10. Let's bring it down this year. This year came home for a visit, you know, for Christmas time. Wasn't planning on staying up here in Massachusetts. Was not planning on staying back up here in Massachusetts. Nothing against Massachusetts. It's just I've lived here my whole life. I get bored up here. So I came back for a visit, caught COVID, and then boom. Next thing you know, I'm at my parents' house. Uncomfortable as fuck. Have COVID. Um, and then out of that uncomfortable situation, I actually had a great time with... My brother and my mom, we all had COVID. We we're all having a good time. Believe it or not, we are, we're having some pretty good laughs. We haven't spent so much time together like that and since I was little, man, since I was real small, probably five or six. Like That's literally the last time I spent that much time with them and had such a good time. Um, so to me, COVID will always, it, it will always have a special place in my heart for that reason I was able to reconnect with my family you know we didn't know if my dad was going to make it he was in the hospital in ICU and out of that uncomfortable situation 
which I tell anybody about that and they're like, oh man, that really must have sucked. But like I just told you, man, that uncomfortable situation was the best time of my life with my family. Like who would have ever thought, you know what I mean? Like who would have ever fucking thought? Like I, I, I never, I never thought me catching COVID would be the best thing that's ever happened to me, but it was, it still is. Um, and that, that's just how we get it, man. We get it out of uncomfortable situations because people like us, when we're put in these situations, we're challenged. If we're not challenged, then we're not living. That's that's truly what I believe. That's like what I really believe. And that's why I, I think that people say it's not about the money, you know what I mean? Because it's really not. Because if you have all the money in the world, but you stop being challenged or you stop pursuing growth, which that's, this is what a challenge is, this is what uncomfortable situations are, they lead to growth, then you're not living, man, life is about growing, growing, helping, every fucking day, man, like, I'm telling you, like, ever since I've gotten my own apartment, like, there have been times where I'm just bored in my apartment, um, like, little times, not nothing, nothing major, but for the past X amount of years, I've always lived with somebody, I've always had to put myself in uncomfortable situations, which that's normal to me, and it's all right, but that being said, I, I'm bringing up uncomfortable situations, because an uncomfortable situation is coming up where my boy Kenny is going to be living with me and my girlfriend, which I'm to totally comfortable with, you know what I mean, like, yeah, there's part of me, the comfort side, is like, oh, I'm not going to be around, you're not going to be able to walk around naked, not going to be able to do this or do that, you know what I mean? Not be able to fuck my girlfriend or whatever I want. Hey, it's all right, you know what I mean? Maybe we're not supposed to fuck every two minutes, like, which we're not, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so then it makes these situations like sex, like lust, like love, makes it that much better because, hey, when we do have sex or when we do spend time, me and you, it will mean that much more because we have less of it now and it's gonna be more, it's gonna be more special. That's the way I look at it. We'll be able to plan a vacation now because we have a business partner here that can take care of the fucking business while we're gone and we'll still make money while we're on vacation. Like that right there is everything to me. Like being able to go to fucking Costa Rica and still make $500 a day is fucking incredible to me. You know what I mean? Like. $500 a day, if not more, in my bank. Plus, my boy's getting money, my workers are getting money, plus the bank account is getting money. Like, it's a good thing, man, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> the two guys that have worked for me now, like, they're, de they're certainly making more money and less pressure on them than anywhere else they've ever worked. And they love it, man, they love it. Uh, one of my guys might leave for Florida during the winter time, which it's all right. You know what I mean? It's all right. We'll, we'll get somebody that can work during the winter months. Um, we're, we're expanding like crazy coming up. Um, my boy Duet from this channel actually might be coming out here. You know, I explained to him my boy's going to come out and start helping us out. So it's just one step at a time, one step at a time, and really modeling the people before us that have done it successfully they've done what we've already done and we're just modeling them that's all we're doing here like i'm modeling a company that i used to work for in south florida where i met my climber and i'm just modeling their their i'm modeling their company but at the same time i'm actually doing it in a more fun way because <coughs> i work with with them I work with them every day for a year down in South Florida. I talk to the owner all the time, talk to the manager all the time. The people in management there, the, and the people that own the company, they were always in some sort of fucking frenzy. They were always living out of the moment. That's nothing like I wanna be, nothing. They, like it didn't make sense to me. You have all this money, you have a successful business, just like you planned out to, but you still haven't learned how to live in the fucking moment. That's why living in the moment is the most important thing 
most important skill I could ever teach you is living in the fucking moment and embracing the moment. It's the times that we're not living in the moment that we're not embracing life and enjoying it. We're just not. Like, you cannot be in the moment and be miserable. You cannot be in the moment and be depressed. Because when you're truly in the moment, you know what's going on, you know what you need to do, and, you know, you're embracing it. And living in the moment is not about fucking being in a fucking frenzy all the time, yelling at people all the time. Like, that's not what I want for this company, man. That's why we're the best street company to ever live. Uh, we're going to do the numbers. We're going we're gonna to crunch numbers more so than any company ever has in the world. And that's just where we're at. That's that's what we're going after, man. Anything less is a fucking goddamn waste of time. We didn't start this business just to make $100,000 a year. Like, that's that's for damn sure. Um, I can make $100,000 a year working for somebody else, not having to think or do half as much as I do now. So, um, with that, guys, just want to hop on here and say what's up. Embrace the pain, embrace the suffering, live in the moment, man. Learn how to live in the moment without money. So once you start accumulating money, just keep practicing that, man. And keep practicing that every single moment. Living in the moment, bring it back to the moment, bring it back to the breath. That's all we got, man. That's all we got. With that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Peace.